All right, guys, today I want to kind of share with you something about uh, one of the changes with the new 2023 Super Duty. You know, someone brought this up in the comments, and I thought this was something worth talking about a little bit. Ford has actually added some really neat technology into 2023 steering. It's called steer steering assist, and I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like with a truck with one and without one. So you can kind of see if you're looking at a truck, what it looks like. And it's a big reason why you want to get a Lariat Ultimate if this feature means a lot to you or above because the standard Lariat doesn't have this technology. If you recall this truck, I actually just did a review on this the other day. This is a Lariat Ultimate. And I actually did a review on that truck here a few weeks back. That's a standard Lariat. So it's a $5,000 option to get a Lariat Ultimate over a Lariat. To some people, it's worth it. You know, it's a lot of money. I won't even question that it's not. But this is a feature that I wasn't aware of, even though I had a Lariat Ultimate. I wasn't aware of this feature until the other day. And because of this, this is a reason why, honestly, I would go for a Lariat Ultimate now over a Lariat. For this one feature alone, it's that good. And I'm gonna show you right now. So do you see this bracket right here? This aluminum casted bracket? This is part of the steering assist. Uh, this is part of the steering assist that is part of the Lariat Ultimate and above uh, trim levels. And what this does, this works in conjunction with your standard hydraulic steering to take out some of the wander and the sway, and it just makes the steering more not only just smooth, but going down the road, I didn't get any feedback into the steering wheel, and it's amazing how much of a difference that makes in perceived ride quality as well as the wandering and tracking down the road so now you've seen that now let's go look at the other truck that is not a lariat ultimate and we can compare so now i'm going to show you this is a lariat in a non-ultimate that's a lariat ultimate diesel 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 gas we've got two lariats non-ultimate two lariat ultimates one with 7.3 and one with the 6.7. So it's not engine specific. So here we go. So check this out. Notice the bracket on the frame tied into the steering is missing. You can see the standard steering shaft. It's completely missing there. So that's where the assembly would go on a Lariat Ultimate for the steering assist system. So now we'll look at the diesel. Now it's a standard output. This is another standard output, but this is a Lariat Ultimate. So there you can see the assist arm tied in to the steering system. Okay, so then you could say, well, maybe it's just a diesel thing. Well, I'm gonna show you now the gas truck. So now here is a Lariat. You can see it's a Lariat, but it's not an Ultimate. It's easy to tell it's not an Ultimate because it doesn't have the heads up display there. And there is a 7.3 without the steering assist. So I've driven this truck. This is a F-250 with the high capacity rear axle, so you can see it's got the overload springs. I've driven this truck 7.3, 373 gears, 18 inch rims, and I've driven that truck, which is an F350, which I need to compare axle ratio, or I need to compare the axle weight rating to see how they compare in that regard, but this also has overloads, but this is on 20 inch wheels. So I find why this is interesting is, if you think about it, this truck w should ride a little stiffer and a little worse than that truck. This truck rode noticeably improvement. This was a noticeable improvement in ride quality and perceived steering in the feedback. I'm telling you, even though this is a $5,000 option, I think for this reason alone, it's worth it. So, and, and, and to add to this, from what I understand, this is a different system then prior to the 2023 model year, they had a system called, um, I think it was called variable steering ratio. And that was a total different system, which is not available on the Super Duties anymore. Here's something you don't see on a lot of these new Super Duties. This, this uh, I call it the extension ladder. It's kind of funny. It's actually functional, but it also looks kind of goofy. But I wish what Ford would do is give people the option to replace this one with this and put it up there. That'd be sweet. But now I'm gonna show you the window sticker just to kind of compare. We're gonna look at this real quick. We go into the functional and I'm gonna look and see. I'm not seeing a breakdown in this in the ultimate package where it shows that it comes with the steering assist. I'm gonna now go look at the window sticker for this truck and see if it says anything different. 
I'm going to deep dive into this later looking at the window sticker, but I don't see anything on here that doesn't say anything specific about the, the steering assist. But regardless, you know, it's funny because when I had my 2023 F350 trimmer, I just thought that truck rode and drove so much nicer than my 2020. And I thought, you know, suspension changes and things of that nature. There is some tuning to that. Yes, they did make some improvements with the caster in the front axle, spring rates, shock dampening that. I'm convinced it's this steering assist that makes these trucks drive so much better. And for that reason alone is why I would go with a Lariat Ultimate. Even if you can't, even if you're not convinced enough with heads up display and some of the other features, the steering assist is awesome. Anyhow, if you like this video, feel free to give me a like. Hope you find this video helpful. Have a great day.